Hi welcome to Earl Reddit Cheating Stories. Story 1 OP discovered his wife was cheating by performing a trick he learned on the internet. Story 2 OP went to Reddit to determine if he was being an asshole for dumbing his girlfriend for kissing other guys at college. Let's get into it. This story happened when we were both in our late 30s. She was my world and I was head over the hill in love with my wife. Every day was filled with love and you, romantic dinners, presents for no reason, and trips at least two or three times a year. This meant I trusted her 100% and my love for her forced me to have blinders on for years. The event that opened my eyes made me realize what I was in was not love but a codependent relationship. A few of my friends got together to have a beer at our local sports bar. One of my friends looked particularly down so I pulled him to the side and asked him what was going on. He told me that he thought that his wife was cheating on him, he described her actions and they mirror my wife's actions. He asked me what should he do and I responded before you put a dent in your marriage find out if what you suspect is going on is going on. He agreed and at that point, I had answered my question on what I should do about my marriage. I was not sure how I was going to get proof I thought about asking my friend to have lunch one day so we could compare ideas. We met a week later, and I had done some research on the internet for suggestions on how to know if our spouse is having an affair, and one suggestion I read piqued my interest. The read suggests you purchase flowers and put them in your wife's car. The read advised that you place the flowers on your wife's car discreetly, wear a hood, and put on dark shades. Of course, I didn't own a hoodie and did not have dark shades so off to Walmart I went. If my wife is cheating she will not know who the flowers came from and will not say anything, if she is not cheating she will thank me for the flowers. We both agreed to put our spouses to the test, my heart was racing and I was hoping and praying that my wife would come home and thank me for the flowers I left on her car. I went during lunch and purchased a dozen roses, changed clothes, and went to my wife's job and put the dozen roses on her car. I do purchase my wife some flowers maybe once or twice a year, no particular type. When I got home my wife was in the kitchen cooking dinner, in what appeared to be a very good mood. I walked up to her and did my usual kiss on the cheek and asked her how her day was. She said her days were busy but not too stressful. We had dinner and relaxed in front of the TV to watch a show. About 10 minutes into the show my friend texted me and told me his wife thanked him for the flowers, he asked me if my wife had mentioned the flowers and I told him not yet. We finished watching our TV show and my wife said she was going to bed, I stayed up a little later and then joined her in the bed. My wife rolled over and kissed me on the cheek and said good night and went to sleep. The next morning we had coffee together before she went to work and all she did was give me a quick peck on the cheek and say have a good day. Later in the day my wife texted me and said thanks you for the flowers I forgot to thank you last night. I knew this was bullshit and I had the confirmation I needed. My guess is she could not call her AP last night and she called or texted him to confirm if he put flowers on her car yesterday. At this point, I had little motivation to stay married to this lady, but I needed solid proof and I was determined to get to the bottom of her action, and I was going to start with her phone. My now ex-wife tends to be a heavy sleeper if she had a drink. One night, very late, I was completely sober, and her phone started pinging with incoming texts. Which rarely happened before. Everyone knows that she doesn't like late night texts. So I check it out. It is texts from her supposedly platonic relationship friend. My wife never kept her phone from me. I later found out that she told her affair partner that I had full access to it and not to text her anything to give away their secret unless she was already responding, so that she could erase the texts that needed to be erased. So I never saw anything that made me able to be sure she was cheating. This time the cheating wife had fallen asleep while in the middle of texting him. I did suspect something was up with this friend, but I was ignoring the facts in front of my face. This time her affair partner was saying things that seemed to indicate that my wife was pregnant. Which was news to me. So I started texting him back, pretending to be her. 
It then became very clear and undeniable that she was pregnant and he and she were thinking that he might have been the father. While I suspected they had an inappropriate connection and while she had mentioned she was unhappy in our marriage a lot recently, I never in a million years thought it was possible that my wife would have sex with anyone else while married. She was too good for that. Too smart and moral to get mixed up in such a tawdry thing as that. She was also very healthy and very fit and values these things in a partner. So I thought this guy, who I knew to be an unattractive, unhealthy, piggish man was no threat. I should have known better. When I just suspected and did not know, I thought if my worst fears were validated, I would certainly be rageful and possibly violent. Instead, I just collapsed into a heap on the floor. Crying. So in shock I could hardly move. The following morning my wife had a worried look on her face when we sat down for our morning coffee before we departed for work. She was not sure if I read her text but I'm sure all the text was deleted. I never saw a text to her AP asking about the flowers, but I'm sure she deleted the inquiry. It took a lot of willpower not to confront my wife that morning but I elected to confront her that night. The entire day at work my mind was focused on the conversation I had to have with my wife, coupled with the reality that she was not the woman I thought she was. My wife admitted to the affair and later we would lie to ourselves that we could get past this. That this was not the end. But at that moment we both knew the awful truth, that our relationship had ended that night. It was a death in the family. We both suffered greatly and expressed that to each other. I'm almost in tears right now, just remembering that moment in time. We divorced. Her lover dropped her like a hot potato. She terminated the pregnancy, was never sure who was the father, and did not want to bring a child into that kind of mess, regardless of who the father was. When I learned that my first wife was cheating, what I hoped she would do was this. Stop it, absolutely no more cheating. Fully admit what she did and why she did it. Own it, and accept 100% that it was her fault. Truly ask for forgiveness, and prove her regret for her actions. Become 100% transparent about her daily routine. Be patient, give me time to decide if I wanted to stay with her and time to forgive. Instead what she did was tell more lies, blame it on me, continue to sneak around hiding things, and dare me to leave. She threatened to financially destroy me if I divorced her. Her attitude made it impossible for me to ever consider reconciliation, let alone continue a friendship with her. The non-caring look on her face said it all, with her forehead wrinkling and the stone look on her face I knew my marriage was over. So. I divorced her without haste. That was 15 years ago, she is miserable nowadays. Suffered two more divorces for cheating. I'm happy, married to a good faithful lady. OP the loss of a marriage is like a death, but you can hold your head up high because you were an honorable man throughout the relationship. She is somebody else problem now and you are living your best life. Story 2 Am I the asshole for breaking up with my girlfriend of 5 years after she mugged down with someone else at a football game? I, 22M, was in a long distance relationship with my girlfriend, 21F, for 5 years and 9 months. We had met in high school and then I went to UTSA and she went to Texas A&M, but we decided to stay together. Long distance is hard, but we always made it work and I thought we would be married someday. I would make the three and a half hour drive every third weekend and stay with her. That is until I heard from a friend of mine that one of his friends, who happens to look like me, had been making out with her all night throughout their football game against New Mexico last night, while she was extremely drunk and calling him by my name. This was concerning to me, so I confronted her about it. At first, she denied it, then said she was too drunk to remember, and then finally admitted to it. She told me it was nothing to worry about, and that it's school tradition to kiss the person next to you whenever the team scores, and that it doesn't mean anything. She said that all her friends do it too, even the ones with boyfriends slash girlfriends, and that she would have told me but she didn't want to make me uncomfortable, which I said is probably a good sign that it's not okay. To add to this, 
I have talked to her roommate's boyfriends, and they're fully aware of and okay with their girlfriends doing this, which is baffling to me. I guess school tradition means a lot at A&M. I have trust issues and she knows that, so I think she felt safer keeping it a secret. She said they call it mugging down and some people even become mug buddies with the people they sit next to all season, but that there's never any feelings towards the person they kiss. She also admitted to kissing other guys and girls during past football games more times than she could count. This is something that I've never thought her capable of until now but I also suspect her of bringing some of these people home as well because she always disappears for the rest of the night after a game, usually saying she's tired or is still with her friends. Her roommates deny this, but I don't trust them to be honest with me regardless. I broke up with her after this because what the fuck? She's been calling and texting me endlessly telling me that I'm overreacting, as have her roommates, and even her father texted me and told me that it's ridiculous to be mad at her just for participating in the school tradition, he also went to Texas A&M, but I don't see how going to football games wasted and kissing random people even when you are not single is just a school tradition. And it's not like that's the only thing about it. I'm also really not okay with her going out in public if she's going to get so drunk that she sees a random dude that looks like me, convinces herself it's me, and starts making out with him. I've brought up her drinking habit and how it concerns me multiple times in the past and she always just acts annoyed and blows me off, to the point where I just feel stupid bringing it up. She tells me she knows her limits and never drinks beyond that, but I know that isn't true. She got very into alcohol her sophomore year of high school and still drinks the same way she did back then. It's not even that I wanted her to go sober, I just needed her to chill out with it. Two bottles of tequila per week now and it's been escalating since she was 15 which was very concerning to me. I'm being told that I'm being controlled for not liking alcohol use and that I just don't understand the environment of a big school but I'm struggling to see it that way. The alcohol issue once again showed itself, on top of the kissing strangers and possibly cheating was too much for me, and I had to cut it off for my own good. I haven't been doing great, but I think I just need an outside opinion to help with the confusion. I don't know whether to feel angry or ashamed and even though I feel like I should be angry, everyone around me is telling me otherwise. Am I the asshole for leaving her over this? I have trust issues and she knows that, so I think she felt safer keeping it a secret. She said they call it mugging down and some people even become mug buddies with the people they sit next to all season, but that there's never any feelings towards the person they kiss. She also admitted to kissing other guys and girls during past football games more times than she could count. This is something that I've never thought her capable of until now but I also suspect her of bringing some of these people home as well because she always disappears for the rest of the night after a game, usually saying she's tired or is still with her friends. Her roommates deny this, but I don't trust them to be honest with me regardless. I broke up with her after this because what the fuck? She's been calling and texting me endlessly telling me that I'm overreacting as have her roommates, and even her father texted me and told me that it's ridiculous to be mad at her just for participating in the school tradition, he also went to Texas A&M, but I don't see how going to football games wasted and kissing random people even when you are not single is just a school tradition. And it's not like that's the only thing about it, I'm also really not okay with her going out in public if she's going to get so drunk that she sees a random dude that looks like me, convinces herself it's me and starts making out with him. I've brought up her drinking habit and how it concerns me multiple times in the past and she always just acts annoyed and blows me off, to the point where I just feel stupid bringing it up. She tells me she knows her limits and never drinks beyond that, but I know that isn't true. She got very into alcohol her sophomore year of high school and still drinks the same way she did back then. It's not even that I wanted her to go sober, I just needed her to chill out with it. Two bottles of tequila per week now and it's been escalating since she was 15 which was very concerning to me. I'm being told that I'm being controlled for not liking alcohol use and that I just don't understand the environment of a big school but I'm struggling to see it that way. The alcohol issue once again showed itself, 
on top of the kissing strangers and possibly cheating was too much for me, and I had to cut it off for my own good. I haven't been doing great, but I think I just need an outside opinion to help with the confusion. I don't know whether to feel angry or ashamed and even though I feel like I should be angry, everyone around me is telling me otherwise. Am I the asshole for leaving her over this? Edit. I looked it up and Texas A&M does have a tradition called mugging down where you kiss other fans, so she didn't make that up at least. Weird ass thing to have students doing as a tradition in today's world, especially post-COVID. But whether it's a real tradition or not doesn't affect how I feel about it anyway. Edit. Thanks for the support, everyone. I also just got screenshots of text messages between her and a friend who was mad at her for bringing one of these guys home. She texted her friend, you're only supposed to mug down with your date so I had to make him my date. Don't tell, my name. Feeling a lot less shitty about myself now. You are right about the Aggies, they're insane. Because it wasn't like she tricked them into thinking she was single, half her room was covered in pictures of us together. The guys 100% knew she was cheating with them and they didn't care either. College is full of polygamists. Good riddance. She, her roommates, and her family are blocked on everything. Edit. I've now discovered that she would invite guys over for away games so she could mug down while they watched on the TV. I always just thought she was really into the games and was too invested in it to respond. Turns out she was doing that and taking them into her room during halftime for a little extra. Two of her three roommates would do the same thing and only one of them is single. I'll never trust a woman again, especially an Aggie woman. They don't care about football, they just want to get taken to bed, and football is both a way to meet other guys and something to tell their boyfriends when they ask where they've been for the last couple of hours. There are at least three school traditions related to football games that only exist as an excuse to get banged and not feel bad about it. 9 out of 10 tailgates are just kissing booths or kissing games. If you have an Aggie girlfriend, you better be with her 24-7, rich, and the sexiest man alive or she's going to turn around and cheat on you with the first attractive guy she gets a chance to with, and say she was just taking part in tradition. Disgusting people. Last edit, my new girl and I mugged down each time Miami scored on the Aggies today. Go Hurricanes! OP you are not the asshole, I think your ex-girlfriend used a lame excuse to make out with other people. All relationships should be.